Okay, so in this case, we're going to talk about a buffer problem, a buffer solution problem. So we define buffer as any solution that receives drastic pH change, and it is usually made up of a weak acid and its conjugate base, okay? and a weak base and its conjugate acid. So in this case, the buffer system that we have is ammonia. So we are asked to calculate the pH of uh, 0.30 molar of ammonia and 0.36 molar ammonium chloride buffer system. So what is the pH after the addition of 20 ml of 0 0.05 molar NaOH to 80 ml of the buffer solution? Now to solve this problem, okay, the pKa is given as uh, 9.25. So as I've told you, this is a weak base. So usually in equilibrium, you have here ammonium ion okay, in water to form, no, not ammonium ion, ammonia to form ammonium ion and hydroxide. So as you could see here, the buffer system that we have here, you have a base here and it's conjugate acid. Now to solve, for the pH initially, we just use the henderson hazelbach equation. So we have pH equals to pKa plus lab, okay? So you have here the concentration of the base over the concentration of the acid, okay? So we're given here 9.25, okay? And then you have here log. So if we have this one here, so usually we can say the ammonium ion, that's the acidic component. So we put that on the denominator while we put 0.30 on the numerator. So if we're going to look at the amount that we have here, so 0.30, 30 divided by 0.36 that will give you a value that is around log 0.8333. And if you're going to get that value, that is equals to 0 0.08. Okay, so if you're going to put it with 9.25, minus uh, point, uh, zero 0.08, so you will have here a pH that is equals to 9.17. So that answer the initial question that we have here in the problem, okay? Now, to solve the next question in this problem, we have to look at the mechanisms that we have. So what we have here, we have a hydroxide okay, added to the buffer system. So when a hydroxide is added to a buffer system, usually the acidic component, which in this case is the ammonium ion, will react with it to produce the basic component. And in this case, okay, water. So, what we're going to do is we're going to determine how many ml is this 0 0.05 uh, times 20 ml. So if we're going to look at this one, so 0 0.05 moles per liter times 20 ml divided by 1,000 ml over liter, okay? So if we have this, uh, what we call given things so you have what 20 divided by a thousand times 0 0.05 so that would be around 0 0.001 okay now for the ammonium ion so we have here what 0.36 moles uh, per liter and if you're going to look Okay, at the volume that you have here, you, you have here eighty ml over a thousand ml per liter. Okay, so here I could put point zero zero one, so point thirty six times eighty. 
divided by a thousand. So you have here around point zero two eight eight. Now ammonium uh, the ammonia ion here. So we, we do the same thing, moles per liter times eighty ml over a thousand ml per liter. So this will give you around no, not not point thirty six, but around point thirty. So point thirty times eighty. So this will give you around point zero two four. So these are the available moles that you have in a given system. Okay. So what happened? The number of moles of hydroxide it will react with the ammonium ion. Okay. So we could say all of that will react with it. So that same amount will be used by the ammonium ion. So I put a minus here. And then that same amount will also form into ammonia. So if we're going to look at the answer that we have here, so this will be gone. And at the end, you will have 0 0.0288 minus 0 0.001. So that is 0 0.278. And this one will become 0 0.025. Okay. So that would be the number of moles by the end of the reaction. Now, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to use this new number of moles, okay, in the henderson hazel bath. Now, you might ask, what, how about the volume? So since you are in a given system, by the end, okay, uh, the volume most likely will just cancel out because you have what 20 ml plus 80 ml you have 100 ml of the solution there so if we're going to get the concentration there we're just going to divide this by 0.1 liter or if we're going to do it in the henderson hazel back equation so you have 9.25 plus slug okay so you have here the base, which is 0 0.0250 divided by 0 0.1 over 0 0.0278 divided by 0 0.1. So as you could see, they can just cancel out here. So if you're going to look at the value that you have here, so this is now equals to log point. 899. And if we're going to get the value of that, that is equivalent to negative 0 0.046. So if we're going to put it with 9.25, so you will get around a number that is 9.20. Now, you may ask yourself, is this correct? So since you add hydroxide which is a base so you expect the 9.17 to become 9.20 okay 